Hey, this is Mr. Izzet, here to demonstrate another way to infuse use of technology into your classroom practices in such a way that is purposeful and aligns to the common core. Specifically, this video will outline an activity that can be used as an end-of-unit project that will show students how the skills they practice can be applied outside of the classroom, namely for visual media purposes. The project of which I speak is a book trailer, which, as you might have guessed, is much like a movie trailer. It gives the audience some insight into the story in order to pique interest. And one will be able to utilize many of the common core skills in order to accomplish this. Let us take a look, for instance, at some clips of the trailer for Lerman's adaptation of Romeo and Juliet to see how the third standard for reading literature applies. Analyze how complex characters develop over the course of the text, interact with other characters, and advance the plot or develop the theme. Notice how the first line we hear, spoken by Leonardo DiCaprio as Romeo, relates to the theme and an important plot development. My heart love till now, for swear at sight, for I never saw true beauty till this night. So he mentions love, which is one of the ideas the theme is related to, and we can clearly see, through his dialogue and their interaction with one another, an important plot development. They fall in love at first sight. So we can clearly see how the Common Core skills manifest themselves in this movie trailer and, as such, in trailers in general. Now the criteria for the book trailer assignment which I'm about to show you takes this a step further in the sense that it requires students to employ some of the strategies that they would when writing an essay. In essay writing, students typically have to make a claim, provide tech support, and substantiate the tech support with an explanation. And this book trailer assignment requires students to do just that. Notice how the book trailer for Jekyll and Hyde that I created not only includes quotes from the text that either advances the plot or develops the theme, but offers an explanation as to how those quotes advance the plot or develop the theme. I first begin the trailer with a quote from the text about the ideas of good and evil. This quote is indicative of the theme. I then go on to include text that explicitly states what the theme is in relation to the quote. Scientific balderdash. The quote you just heard is a quote that advances the plot as it demonstrates how Jekyll alienates himself from his friends by experimenting with this very unorthodox science. The text that follows also explains why he delves into this unorthodox science to separate the good and evil sides of himself, and the fallout that ensues. He becomes a monster that terrorizes the streets. Notice how I also show an event that advances the plot Mr. Hyde's murder of Carew. I am the chief of sinners, and I am the chief of sufferers, also. And the quote I include in the end also develops the plot because we know that Dr. Jekyll is tormented by the deeds that he commits as Mr. Hyde. Essentially, this project is designed to allow students to see the utility of the Common Core standards as they can be applicable outside of reading a novel or writing a paper. Surely you will have gotten some ideas of your own after watching this video, and if you would like to see the Jekyll and Hyde book trailer without my voiceover, just click on the link to the video.